I am Sai Chin. Welcome back to my channel, Sai Tech. In today's video, I will uh, show you how to do the data transfer rate uh, using the NFC between the both phones, Realme X1 Max and the iQ7 device. So, in this video, I will try to uh, exactly show you the sample by transferring the gallery images or any kind of videos from one phone to other phone, which is a Realme X1 Max and the iQ7 device. Exactly, I will try to explain how to do that and is it a, any kind of faster way or it's kind of slow. So, that's what I'm going to explain in this entire video. So, try to watch till end of the video to get to know all this kind of results so first to turn on the nfc in both phones realme x1 max and in the iq sound device so first go to the option which is called the bluetooth and device connection and here there's option which is called the nfc in the connection and sharing there's an option called the nfc as well as you can see here so to transfer the files images and videos uh, from both phones so you need to enable this option which is the android beam so android beam should be on during this time of data transfer rate as you can see that's the one thing which i thought of mentioning so once you did everything these two options are completely on in both phones so next step is go to the gallery so here's a gallery so this is a video which i want to transfer from this phone to uh, this realme x1 max from iq7 to realme x1 max let me show you exactly the size of the video how much it is the size of the video is kind of close to only 43 mb as you can see 43.20 mb not much so now to transfer the data from this iq7 to the realme x1 max you just need to tap on the back side as you can see tap and ta you need to tap exactly on the back side don't press anything D just press on this button tap to beam and now the realme x1 max phone will receive the this kind of video as you can see on the top you can see the android beam receiving is in progress the size is of 43 mb size and you can see the data transfer rate so is it slow or speed you will definitely understand for 43 mb size i think it's kind of really slow as you can see friends at this moment i did turn on the wi-fi connection and both phones they do have the same kind of wi-fi connectivity i think they are using maybe the bluetooth connection during this time of testing that is the reason to be this kind of slow as you can see friends so the one advantage is that a uh, quick sharing will be possible very fast very fast you can actually share the small amount of data is really good but for large capacity i don't think it's kind of uh, really worthy to uh, tra do this kind of standard data transfer using the nfc as you can see it's taking pretty much long time for 43 mb let me to click cancel let me to turn on the bluetooth and see what will happen the bluetooth is off and let's see whether the nfc will be continue or not the nfc is not continuing as you can see it stopped exactly at the same point let me just turn on the bluetooth and see what will happen will it continue again no i think it got interrupted i think so it seems got failed so maybe the nfc is using the bluetooth that is what i did test right now now let me do data transfer maybe the any kind of image i'll try to transfer only one uh, image let me to go any kind of image let me to select one of this uh, yeah i'll try to se just select random image so this image i'll try to transfer from iq7 to the realme x1 max in the realme x1 max you don't need to open anything you can be any other application as well just as a normal but in the iq7 device as you can see tap and in the realme x1 max you will receive that kind of message on the notification bar and it's data transferring as you can see friends so this is the method from iq7 to the realme x1 max now let me try to do one thing i'll try to do the from realme x1 max to iq7 device will it can I transfer or not? That's what I'm going to check right now. I'll let me try to open one of the image. So maybe this image I'll try to transfer. So let's see what will happen. Let me try to open another application in this phone. I'm just trying to transfer. Tap. And you'll get that kind of sound as well. So incoming beam. So this is a very small amount of size i think the size is kind of in kbs i think so maybe one mb one mb is the size so for when mb it took this much of time close to five seconds of time you can calculate the time how much it will take for more amount of data that's the one thing which a lot of mentioning so transferring via nfc is not ideal method to do but in case for this kind of small files you can definitely do it with instantly without even i think you should not even need to touch the phone screen i think so so phones are not even needed to touch it's too far <laughs> As you can see friends, let me try to show you. From this much far, I think it's getting detected. I just want to see how much far. I did not even touch it. As you can see, I did not even touch the both phones. So you don't need to even touch the both phones at all. That's kind of really good. So using this kind of NFC method, you can actually do that. So 
So that's it friends, thank you for watching this video and make sure to check the links in the description for more updates and in case if you have any other queries and do let me know in the comment section below and see you in the next video friends, until then stay tuned, bye.